Honduras held presidential elections on Sunday. The National Electoral Council preliminary tally shows that opposition candidate Hilmara Castro has a clear lead over ruling party contender Nazare Asfura. For more on that, let's cross live to our correspondent Alistair Bavastok in the country's capital, Tausagalpa. Uh, Alistair, you've been following this very closely. Will there be an overhaul of the country's politics this time? Well, good evening. It's still Sunday night here and the atmosphere following today's vote is very positive. And indeed, as you mentioned, it does appear that there will be an overhaul of this country's government, which has currently been in power for the past 12 years. That today's vote was the highest ever turnout in Honduras's electoral history. 3.2 million people, 62% of the total electoral roll. And one particularly interesting little uh, piece of data was that 600,000 young people, those below the age of 21, all of them voting for the first time, turned out to vote today. That's another all-time record for Honduras's electoral history. And now with 26% of the vote now officially reported, it does appear that opposition candidate Xiomara Castro will be the ne country's next president. She leads with 53% of the votes, 20 percentage points more than her political rival from the current ruling party. And those figures do stand up along Alongside the exit polls which were reported. So it does seem very likely now that the opposition will be taking uh, this country into its next four years of government. And here, 10 stories above the rest of the capital of Tegucigalpa, we can hear all around us fireworks going off street parades, we can hear horns and celebratory atmosphere as this country feels that it is now away from a government which in the end has turned, uh, has, has suffered with a great deal of allegations of corruption and not only that but this country is also in a particularly bad way at the moment. Dreadful levels of poverty, more than 50% of this entire country live below the poverty line terrible rates of violence, unemployment and migration. 500,000 Hondurans have left this country seeking better opportunities elsewhere in the past four years alone. And as this next government begins to see how it's going to use this mandate to change the things in this country, the, the voters here are happy. And another reason they'll, they'll be happy is also because today has seen no real levels of violence. Four years ago, during a stolen election by the current ruling party, there were terrible riots in the streets afterwards. It's quite the opposite this evening. As I mentioned, fireworks, happy people, street parades, horns going off, and a more convivial atmosphere in Honduras this evening, not only in the capital, but across the country after this vital election in the country's history.